All these clips are owned by Toei Animation of Fuji TV and Akira Toriyama. I'm saying this because I got a copyright strike, so if you're watching this video, uh, please don't give me a copyright strike. This is all for fun and viewing purposes only, and uh, this is not the real thing. Please go support the actual Dragon Ball Z stuff. Bye. In this video, we'll be talking about the top five craziest facts about Dragon Ball Z that you guys probably didn't know about. Uh, before this video starts, I'd like to... I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. You will not regret it. I play games, uh, Dragon Ball Z games, any kind of game I play. Basically, that's what I do. All right, let's start off the video with the number five fact. This clip is off of this guy's video. So anyways, if you probably already knew this, if you were a true fan, but if you did not... In the Underworld Tournament, this is non-canon by the way, but this is still a cool fact. In a non-canon episode, un in the Underworld Tournament, Goku goes Super Saiyan to Kaioken. Uh, many people do not know that this actually happens, but he actually does do it, and this is a cool moment. If you haven't seen this episode, I suggest you watch this episode. It is legitimately cool. He just went Kaioken Super Saiyan. Most people don't know this, so that's why I added it to the list. And if you didn't know it, well, congratulations. You actually are a pretty good Dragon Ball Z fan. And you are know quite a bit more than most people do. And yep, he just goes Kaioken. It's actually really boss. Alright, on to the next fact. Fact number four. Again, if you are a true Dragon Ball Z fan, you probably already know this. But King Piccolo, which is the... Piccolo's father in Dragon Ball, uh, he has sons, which means that there is different types of Numekians. Numeki I don't know why it was hard to say that. Basically, what I'm just trying to say is that there are more Numekians than we think. Uh, as you can see here in this clip, uh, King Piccolo has sons, which means Piccolo has brothers. Of course, they end up dying in Dragon Ball, but still... Piccolo had brothers, and these Numekians look different than the ones we know and see on Planet Namek, which means that there are different types of Numekians, and maybe this is like an extinct kind of Numekian that we see in this clip as Piccolo's brothers, but I don't know. It's kind of all weird how this is. This is canon, completely canon, but yet there is different type of people, and um, there's different type of Numekians. That's it. It's just a weird fact to know that... In Planet Namek, you didn't see these Namekians, but there actually is different types of Namekians, and Go and Piccolo has a brother. Brothers. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, it's kind of weird at the same time. If you knew this, congratulations. You guys are completely Dragon Ball Z nerds. On to the next on the list, which is going to be number three. You know the routine by now. If you knew this, you're a Dragon Ball Z nerd. Congrats. But most people do not know this. And this is why it's on the list. This Dragon Ball Z fact is that Shinron can be killed. Yes, the dragon that grants us our wishes can be killed. In Dragon Ball, he was killed by King Piccolo, which is kind of shocking that Shinron can be killed, but he can be, and as you can see in the clip, he is killed, and so is Chaozu, which is all, which is sad. But anyways, yes, Shinron can be killed, and it is honestly a shock to me. And most people do not know this, so that's why I put it on the list as one of the the like the Dragon Ball Z facts you probably didn't know, even though this is Dragon Ball. It also pertains to Dragon Ball Z, and if you guys really hate this hate this clip and video, well, then you should stop watching it. This is facts that most people don't know. So if you knew it, then you're Dragon Ball Z nerd. Congrats. But Shinron can die, and he can be killed by a a Kai blast and it's actually kind of surprising that this cool looking dragon can be killed that easily but it can happen and it does happen so yep on to the next fact fact number two all right this is where the facts get really really interesting so hold on to your super saiyan pants did you ever watch the frieza saga and think why is this fight so long and why did it drag on for almost 30 episodes almost a whole season? Well, that's because when the anime was being created, so was the manga, which is the base material for the anime, obviously. So while Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, if you didn't know, was creating the manga, which is what the anime is based off of, he was, when he was creating it, he had not finished the next manga, so while they were waiting for the next manga to be made, 
they made this fight drag on and on and on. That's why the episodes are so long, and that's why there's so many. Because they were waiting for Akira Toriyama to finish the manga before they could create the anime. So, the next time you're watching Dragon Ball Z Kai or Dragon Ball Z, the original series or whatever, you know, hey, the fight was super duper long because Akira Toriyama was taking his darn time. And, to be honest though, I'm glad he did because maybe Dragon Ball Z wouldn't have turned out, wouldn't have turned out that great. So, you know... Patience is key, my friends. Patience is key. On to the next one, which is, I think, the, the one of the coolest Dragon Ball Z facts that you probably did not know. And here is number one. Have you ever thought to yourself, why are Super Saiyan hairs, Super Saiyan's hairs yellow? Well, it's pretty... You think, well, you mean, I don't know. I really never thought, I guess, about it. Well, there's a good reason why it's yellow. When creating the manga, the, creating the manga, the people who were creating the manga thought were running a little bit behind. So, when the Super Saiyan transformation came out, what they decided to do was make it a color that was easy for them to put it in the manga. So, what they did was yellow, and when they put it yellow in the manga, the yellow hair actually isn't even colored yellow, it's actually just white. So they didn't have to color in anything, they just had to draw the hair in the person, and bada bing bada boom, they're a Super Saiyan. So they just left the hair white, and that's why it's yellow. So that's why when in Dragon Ball Z, in the first Frieza fight, and in, like, in the first time Vegeta turns Super Saiyan, the hair is a little bit more white than uh, yellow. And as you can see, when he transforms Vegeta and Goku in the first fights, it's a little bit more white than yellow, and they obviously changed that later down the line, but... That's why the hair is a little bit lighter, and then when they go down the line and keep making Dragon Ball Z, it becomes a little bit darker yellowed haired. So that's why the hair is yellow. And if you guys really enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm totally going to make a whole bunch of more Dragon Ball Z facts and other things you probably didn't know about the show. So please subscribe, and please like the video, and thanks for watching, guys. Silo56 out. And uh, make sure you keep your Super Saiyan pants on for the next video.